of 2022 uh, we've come to the end and it's been a lot of fun for me um, I am not gonna take any time to really give you advice at this point I'll give that to you other places um, but I, I just wanted to maybe leave you with a few memories some of the things that you the impressions you've left on me uh, and uh, and some of the things I'm gonna remember uh, from the class of 2022 uh, I've really enjoyed my year with you um, it's a blessing every year to teach a new class, to get to know a new class, to allow myself to, um, uh, to give to you, to love you, uh, and then to receive whatever comes back. Um, and I thank you for what you've given me. Uh, some of my memories from this year, uh, the way that my homeroom would just keep growing and growing. Uh, and I'm wondering if India Stout ever went to her own homeroom. I don't know. Uh, my lunchtime crew, uh, and you know who you are. Um, the way that Trinity would always ask the hard questions uh, that everybody was asking. Um, she just was bold enough to ask it. Uh, the way that Austin Opler would just dominate conversation. Um, the, uh, the encouraging stickies and, and notes that you would leave behind. The times you just stop to want to talk about life uh, in one way or another I mean, that's the good stuff of teaching and you did that thank you uh, the way that um, Anderson uh, would, would have these efforts to try to introduce me to the cleaner versions of um, Drake songs uh, thinking I needed to know that um, from my fellow countrymen I guess uh, Tori Walker's sinister laugh I'll always remember that uh, the memes and the dad jokes that you would share with me, uh, sometimes on tests, the extreme close-ups that you of photos of your face that you would leave on my iPad when I turned my back for me to find later. Um, that, that, and these are the things I'm going to remember. I remember the class of 2022 uh, as a particularly artistic group. Um, your pottery, your drawing, your drama, your video editing. Um, your photography, your singing, your dance. This is the class that brought praise dancing to chapel. Um, I especially appreciate the many thank yous uh, that you guys would leave um, when you would leave from class every day. Um, that was special. Uh, I especially enjoyed when Tarek would do that. You didn't pull any punches. Um, you were an honest class. Uh, too honest some days. Um, but I watched you wrestle with things. Uh, I watched you wrestle with who you are, what you really believe, and who you want to be. Um, and that, I love that. Um, that's why I get up and do what I'm doing. Um, and that's so rewarding uh, to see that in you guys. So with all of that in mind, um, maybe the one thing I'll leave you with is a Bible verse that I think maybe fits your group. Um, and that is uh, from, from Proverbs 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Um, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. May you, the class of 22, may you trust that God really does know best, and may you follow Him all the days of your life.
wish somebody would have told me, babe Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe Still young. Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past while missing out on now We've come so far, I guess I'm proud And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now When I think about the class of 2022, I think about your first day of kindergarten when you walked into Miss Page's class. And I just truly really feel privileged and honored to have been able to see your last 13 years here at Harding. And in that sense, I feel like I'm a protective big sister. I've been able to see a lot of your events. I've seen chapel programs and Christmas programs. I've watched you play Cub Sports. And then I've seen everything from there until now, and it's just an honor to be a small part of your life. And so as we get ready to say goodbye, um, I'd rather think of this as a see you later. Um, but know that your Harding family wants what's best for you. We hope that you have big goals and big dreams that you work hard to reach those. Um, but most of all, I pray that you go and change the world. I pray that you find ways that you can glorify God and point others to Christ. Take those lessons you've learned here at Harding, take them with you to college and after college, come back, tell us all the things that you've done, and just remember that May 14th isn't an end date for you. You are a Harding Lion for life, and it has been a joy to know you. Next year won't be the same without you, so know that I love you and I'm proud of you. and long, but I am well. He's well! Still, it is very lonely away from my dear ones, especially lonely as Christmas is approaching. Never let
land floating far from the shore will climb high beyond the break of day sleep on stardust and dine on bits of moon Hey, class of 2022. Graduation's almost here and I know you're excited. And you should be. I've known you guys for a long time. Some of you have been through my class once, twice, maybe three or four times. Lucky you. You've heard my soapbox stuff before and I don't need to tell you that again because I'm pretty sure Coach Rob covered all that for me. I'm pretty sure Mr. Knight covered the memories and I know Miss Cox is gonna be really sweet. So where does that leave me? Well, I want you to know that I will remember you for years to come. I want to name names right now, but I'm afraid that I'll leave someone out. But all of your names right now are written on my heart. And I want you to know that you've brought me joy. We've talked a lot about joy this year. It's been joyful to watch you, to watch you grow, to watch you perform on athletic fields, to watch you in plays, to watch you create amazing artwork. And I know that it might be hard for you to understand this right now, but it's been joyful to watch you struggle through difficult things. Difficult things are what's gonna make you grow even more. So I want to leave you with this. Continue to do the hard stuff. Be kind, love and serve other people, and know that whether life is joyful or hard, that I'm here praying God's richest blessings on your life and that I know that you're gonna accomplish great things. I want you to also remember that you are a lion for life. You know I'm back like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step, another, step. another day. Another breath. Another breath Been chasing dreams, but I never slept I never slept I got a new attitude that at least on life is a piece of mine Seeking to find, I can sleep when I die Want a piece of the pie, got the keys to the ride And I'm straight, I'm on my way I'm on my way, get up my way I'm running late, what can I say? I heard you die twice Once when they bury you in the grave And the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name So when I leave here on this earth did I take more than I gave? Did I look out for the people? Or did I do it all for fame? Legend is Exodus, searching for euphoria Judging through the mud to find the present No ignoring us, got 20,000 deep off in the street So guys, today is the first day of second semester We are seven out of eight semesters done with high school And honestly, I was born for this I think of 
the class of 2022, the first thing that I think about is obviously middle school because I taught so many of you guys in seventh grade and eighth grade. And when I think about those years, um, the thing that stands out to me the most is how much we laughed together and the amount of joy that you brought me. You guys have always been willing to try new things and to um, explore new ways of connecting with the Lord. And um, as a teacher, that was just so much fun to be able to um, spend time with you guys. For me, um, this class has taught me a lot about serving people, about getting outside of your comfort zone, using the gifts that you have to be a blessing for others. Um, your class is full of students who have been willing to um, do the things that they're good at, not just for their own glory, but to the glory of God and to the benefit of others. Um, even just this year, your 20 time projects have been thoughtful and full of heart. You all have um, just loved this school so well, loved each other so well, through some really hard times, loved me so well, through some hard times in my life. And I'm just grateful for um, you guys and for your hearts of service and for your willingness to love the Lord and love each other and love this school. Going out tonight changes into something red Her mother doesn't like that kind of dress Everything she never had, she's showing off Driving too fast, moon is breaking through her hair She's heading for something that she won't forget Having no regrets is all that she really wants
my first senior class. I wasn't sure what to expect. I was told that you were a great group of students by pretty much everyone and you guys did not disappoint. Um, I attached very quickly to this group of seniors and I'm very thankful for all the joy and the challenges that you guys gave me. Um, you've all grown so much and have helped me grow. You've allowed me to pour into you and in return, you guys have given me life. You have prayed with me and for me and I've been so blessed to be a part of your senior year. And you're leaving this school hopefully ready to take on adulthood knowing how to find happiness in any situation. Life's going to throw you curveballs. I know that full well. Uh, so when you hit a bump in the road, come back to these halls and find me or any of these teachers and I'll give you a hug or a piece of candy or advice, whatever you need. I'm rooting for you. You've got this. So as always, be safe, be responsible, and keep God first. I love you guys. First off, I'm honored to be asked to say a few words about uh, this year's class. Um, I think that the thoughts that come to mind for me, we talk about seniors graduating uh, this time of the year. I think a lot of us have been through it a little bit older, we look back on it and talk to the seniors and say, hey, you should be thankful uh, for all the opportunities you were given. Uh, you should be thankful for the journey that you just 
went on. But I guess what I'm here to say to all of you out there is that I am extremely thankful for y'all. Uh, I am extremely thankful for the relationships that I have built with you guys, um, for the journey that I've gone on, gone through with you guys for these past three years. Um, those things that you guys exhibited out there and um, uh, the character that those I got to know showed uh, was something I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. And I, I thank you guys for that. And thank you for allowing me to be on this journey with you. And it was the first chapel maybe it's of the year. And Mrs. King day, talking about her theme of joy. And uh, I should probably get emotional. And y'all bring a tear in my eyes. Um, but I think that probably sums up best is that y'all out there have brought so much joy into my life and not just my life my, my family's life my my kids and and my wife and uh just having been around you guys so having been around you in, in my little environment the waiting room where like i said on the field on the court but not just there at likely away from that um off the field being around you guys in church uh, you guys have brought a tremendous amount of joy into my life and for that i uh thank you from the bottom of my heart um and Yes, this is not the end, this is just the beginning. Um, and my door is always open, and I cannot wait to see you guys walk and graduate. And then once you do that, I cannot wait to have you walk back through that waiting room door and come in and spend some time with me and let me know how you all are doing. So, all the best and thank you. Class of 2022, what do I think of when I think of you guys? I think of perseverance. I think of challenge. I think of loyalty. I think of patience. Um, I've known you guys for two years, though for some of y'all, it probably feels like 18. At least for me, it does. Um, so when I think of the class of 22, specifically athletes, I think of those qualities. Uh, not everybody can do that. And I think that's that's very impressive. Um, <clears throat> to remember that life is hard. Everybody is going through something, but you have to find the silver lining in order to get through it, no matter what. And know that you're not alone. You have a whole community here to support you. So, class of 2022. Y'all aren't gonna believe this, but y'all had an impact on me as well. Uh, I can honestly say I've been an athletic trainer for over 10 years. Oh, a lot of y'all think I'm 22, I think, but yeah, I'm much older than that. And I can honestly say without a shadow of a doubt that I have connected on you guys on, on such a personal level that I almost feel like a second mother to a lot of you. I feel like y'all came in and could sit down at my desk and just talk about anything. And that's a special connection that not everybody gets to, to have. So the impact you had on me was impressive. Uh, someone asked me recently, what's the one thing uh, that I'm gonna miss the most? And it's gonna be seeing you guys every day. So just remember, I'm here. I'm an emotional creature, but I'm here, doors open. Cell phone number has been the same number since I was y'all's age, so it's not going anywhere. Call me. And uh, I look forward to seeing what happens in the future. I love you guys. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again.
We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again.